Yer, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today, finally, 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 I'm gonna be giving you guys my full, in-depth, and most importantly, honest review on this Rurock Atlas 4.0. Now, just to catch you guys on a little bit of my past with this company, Rurock, um, I purchased the 3.0 last year, and I honestly absolutely hated it. Um, when it comes to the looks, we'll start with the looks. I thought the 3.0 was amazing. Matter of fact, let me just grab it. Okay, so this was the 3.0. Um, carbon, we got the gold design lining all over it, amazing. When it comes to the looks department, I absolutely loved it. I thought I was gonna love it. Um, I absolutely hated the helmet. Uh, as far as fitment, it, it was horrible. Um, <clears throat> it was noisy. It, then the GoPro holder just broke off here in the front as well. It was just a lie. The, the, the fitment was really, really off, especially from what they promoted on the website. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I didn't give Rurock the nicest review. Um, but despite that, I, I surprisingly actually reached out to me and they wanted to they wanted me to try the 4.0 like they were like listen we're gonna send you one we really want you to try it we really believe that we made a change and you know we, we think they're gonna like it so i mean i wasn't gonna turn that down i'm like all right fine just send it so this 4.0 right here was sent to me a few months maybe maybe one two months now maybe i'm not sure um but i've been riding with it I've been putting it to the test um and i'll be honest so as far as fitment, as far as fitment, they fixed the main issue, which was my main issue with the 3.0. So I'll put the helmet on for you guys right now, so you guys can see. Um, matter of fact, I'll, I'll put the 3.0 on for you guys, for you to see that first, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the 3.0, um, was just really loose. It was just like, you see it like dancing around my face. And yeah, the cheek pads were like, oh God. Yeah, taking it off was a mess. Um, the cheek pads are just, they felt like nothing. And then the 4.0, obviously when it comes to the fitment, a lot has changed. A lot smoother to go on. It's not as loose. It's not dancing around my face. It fits really good. It's pressed right up against my face. That's what you want from a, a nice fitting helmet. You don't want your helmet to be loose. You want your helmet to fit against your face, hold that face real nice and snug, where it's not dancing anywhere, where if you're on your bike, let's say you go over a pothole, your helmet's not bouncing up and down, or any of that. So fitment on here has improved by a large margin, it feels great. As far as the cheek pads, the cheek pads, as you can, matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you kind of side by side the cheek pads, what I'm talking about. So the cheek pads right here on the 3.0, you, look, I'm, I'm literally touching that. You look at that? There, there, there's, there's no playroom there, it's, it's not plush, it's nothing. Now the cheek pads on the 4.0, as you can see here, these, you could, it's cushiony, right? It's nice and cushiony, that's what you want. So it fits better, it uh, feels better, it's, it, it feels nicer and softer on the skin, um, it's more plush. The materials and the lining has been improved drastically a lot. All the materials on here are really different. Everything is plush all around. Um, everything just feels, it, it, it feels more expensive. It feels, it feels like a $500 helmet, it, it, it really does, it just, it, you know, you touch the insides and you have it against your head, against your face, and it really feels premium. Um, you are paying a premium price for this helmet, um, but they definitely upgraded the insides a lot. I'm pretty happy about that. They still have the easy access snap-on clip right here, so it's really easy just you to snap that on and take it off because it's magnetic. So that's a really, really cool thing. I really like that a lot. Um, and then we got some safety stuff here for emergency pool so in the event of you going down in any type of accident um which i don't even know like do medics even get trained on that do they know that these red pull tabs are for that 
I don't know, like if I, a, a, anybody watching a medic, can you guys answer that for me? Do you guys, are you guys aware of this stuff? So this, this is just for a, a safety hazard for them to just take everything off of you and not hurt your neck more than it would be or is in, in, the, in the event of an accident. But yeah, now, um, what I don't like about this helmet is that it's still noisy. Is it a bit less noisier than the 3.0? Yes, but by a smidge. Um, it's still noisy. Uh, even comparing this to, let's say, a helmet that I wear a lot, uh, my Simpson Outlaw Bandit, uh, that helmet is kind of noisy. This is a bit noisier than that. So if you own a Simpson and you're looking into this, that that's the type of noise you're kind of dealing with. So this is gonna be noisier. It's more of a, of a echoing noise. At first you put it on you're, and you're riding, you're fine. But after a while, th there's just like this little echoing noise that just goes throughout the helmet. Um, so yeah, for, for long periods of riding, it, it, it could get pretty annoying. Now another thing that I do like about this is the fact that you're able to open and close that front vent right there, especially now we're coming into the cold months. It's October, everybody's already getting chilly. Weather today is like 52, so drastic change. Um, and pretty soon it's gonna be in the 40s. So if you ride all year round, like I do, you wanna make sure you get a helmet where you're able to open and close that vent. Um, the vent on top as well, open and close this with just a little tab right here. Um, and, it, and it's pretty smooth, especially when you have a, a glove on. It's just rubber gloves. Um, and it's real easy just to switch this over. And then around back, you're gonna have everything to vent out through the back right here. So as far as ventilation, it, it works pretty well. Um, like I said, the, the, the only thing I don't like about this right now is just the fact that it's really, really noisy. Um, I, I mean, I gotta give it up to Rurak, because every year, they do upgrade the helmet. Obviously, this is a huge upgrade compared to the 3.0 and whatever came before that. And every year, they listen to the customer, so that that's one thing I gotta give it to them. It's like, me, for a perfect example, I, I literally, I, I, yeah, I, I, I really, yeah, I went all out. I kind of really dogged that company out because I just wasn't happy and then I really wasn't happy with the customer service, but they're obviously trying to turn everything around and they're listening to the customers. So every year they fix every little thing that people complain about um, and the helmets are just becoming better and better and better. Now, will I say maybe the next 5.0 is gonna be perfect? Probably not. <laughs> I'm, it's probably not. It's gonna take a few more just to get this down packed and dialed in exactly where it should be but it's a huge improvement from the 4.0 that's all i can say fitment really good um just really noisy so if if, if especially i don't know if, if you if you want a helmet for really long rides and you don't want to deal with that noise i'm not going to recommend this to you i'm really not uh but if you want a helmet just to you know look really cool and you're going to be riding locally sure why not? As of right now, the helmet is only DOT approved. It doesn't have any of the other crazy certifications. Um, but it's a cool helmet, man. It's, uh, it, it looks badass. It looks really cool. They have other options for you to order from and different designs and everything. Um, but this carbon, liquid carbon here is just, it looks really, really cool. Now, the next step with this is gonna be for me to try it out with my GoPro setup, which I haven't put on yet. Um, I didn't have such a success with the last one because you know what it is, I have, my GoPro has a media mod and it's kind of heavy. So that little glue was not sticking on there. So I'm gonna have to just stick it onto the side here. Pretty sure that'll work better for me. But I wanna give that the next test. I'm gonna see if it's gonna be a really good helmet. Uh, for motor vlogging out there. I know uh, a lot of you guys probably wondering that, so that should be another video coming up soon. But for the most part, do I recommend Rurock? I don't know. It's a real expensive helmet. It's real expensive and they still have a lot to work on. Have they improved a lot from the 3.0 with the 4.0? Yes, big, huge improvement. But what I tell you to go out there and spend five or $600 on this helmet, I don't know if I can tell you to do that. It's just, they still have a lot to work with. Um, and like I said, I, I always keep it honest on here. And even though this helmet was sent to me, um, I'm, I'm giving you guys my honest opinion, like I always do. It doesn't matter if something's sent to me, it doesn't matter if I buy it with my heart and cash. You guys are always gonna get my honest, 
truth, my honest opinion on here. And, and and that's that's it, man. That's my main goal on here is to come on here, present, you know, sometimes with items like this, you know, and let you guys know what I think about it. And there's a reason why you guys keep coming back here to watch my videos is because you have that trust in me. And yeah, that's it. Um, I will be putting this helmet to the test. I want to put a lot more miles on this. That's what I want to do. I really want to, you know, take this helmet on a four hour or five hour ride. Um, crushed, you know, three or four hundred miles in a day and, and put it to that type of test. Um, so that's gonna, that, that's gonna be coming down the pipeline as well. Um, and I know, you know, for next year, they're, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be coming out with a 5.0. If you guys are in the market for this, then this is my review on the Ruroc Atlas 4.0. Take it with a grain of salt. If you love yours, awesome. If you feel the same way I do, awesome. If you think something else, Good for you. And um, Root Rock, huge shout out to you for sending this out to me. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. I am gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.